Right now, it is time for us to check sports. It is time for us to bring in Mike Kazi, and we bring him in right now. Good morning, Mike. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? All right. Tampa Bay's in. Tampa Bay's in. Yeah, double overtime. They beat the Bruins 3-2. So uh, Tampa Bay's in the conference finals. The Bruins will go home. And today the Islanders see if they can get there too. Uh, that, that'll be, uh, you know, you kind of look at the Islanders. And I, I'm a Ranger fan. You, everybody knows that. Uh, and I got my one Stanley Cup okay, in, in my lifetime. But I like to see a team that's not expected to do anything, uh, no matter who it is, to do something. And uh, and seeing as it's, it's the Islanders, and they've you know moved from uh, the island uh, to New York, and now they're going to go back to uh, their own arena once again. It's good to see them uh, playing like the Islanders. I remember as a kid that I used to hate because they they used to beat up on the Rangers. It's it's, it's just good to see them there. Yeah, they're doing really well. Like I said yesterday, they changed their staff. And uh, they got the right people in the right spot, and they went out and got some players after losing um, their big players. And they're on the cusp of going to the, to the conference finals. So they're, they're in a good position. The other game last night, the uh, Avalanche stayed alive. They went out to an early 5 nothing lead against Dallas and held on to win that game 6-3. So Dallas leads that series 3-2. Boy, five nothing in hockey is a big thing to come back on. <laughs> it's five nothing quick too. <laughs> There's that. It's just such a. Was that a home game for them? There are no home games. Oh, that's right. There. See, I have to get the. I have to get used to this new world of sports. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there are no home games. The bubble. The bubble. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so well, it's a nice island of games at seven, followed right. by Vancouver and uh, and Vegas at. 9:45, and both of those series are 3-1, so both of those can get wrapped up tonight. I think they both will. Okay, so Tampa Bay extends the league over the Yankees to four and a half with a win last night. <laughs> Cole went five innings. Enough said. Five innings is all he went. He threw like 100 and 105 pitches through five innings, and out came the hook, and closed went the book. The Yankees lose 5-3, drop another game. Um, they'd be in third place if the uh, Blue Jays would have won last night, but the Blue Jays got beat by the Orioles in 11-4-3. So the Yankees are in a tie in second place with uh, Toronto. All right. Uh, where else we go in baseball and sports? Mets lost to Miami again. What else is new? Man. Miami's not going to be the worst team in the East. No, the Mets easily are. <laughs> so you think Jay will be back next year? Jay, Jay who? Their general manager, isn't that his name? Oh, Jay I don't Van know. Or whatever his name is, the former Does agent. it matter? No, not really. Does it matter who, who does what for the Mets? I couldn't even tell you the name of their manager. You know, it's, it, you know can I, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? You're absolutely right. Couldn't even tell you the name of the manager. The Mets are the Knicks of baseball. <laughs> now, they went to a World Series that's what I was gonna say. That's five right. years ago. The last time the Knicks saw something like that, um, I don't think I was able to drive yet. I'm thinking. I think I was in high school. I think I was. No, in they high played school. the they played the Rockets in the '90s, but that's 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's it's still a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> it's ancient history. It's ancient history. Yep. Oh gosh, uh, New York sports, nothing like it. I'll tell you. Hey, beware of the White Sox, man. They're in first place. Well, you said it all along. They're 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 whacking the ball, and they're also getting some pitching. They got some pitching. They made a few moves. They got the Cubano lineup. They're hitting the ball all over the place, and uh, they're in first place. They're twenty. They're twenty-two and thirteen. The Yankees are nineteen and fourteen. Yeah, yeah pretty amazing. And uh, their payroll is probably half of what the Yankees is. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Uh, what else in sports? Anything else that that we should talk about? Nah. I know it's not really much. Uh-oh. They had the draw for the Oaks yesterday. Um, that's kind of like no big deal. I think there's only eight horses in it. Today's the draw for the Derby, so we'll see where where the three favorites are positioned. And Tis the Law is going to be a big, big, overwhelming favorite. But I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it on here or not yet, but it's going to be, I don't know which one it was, one of the Rocky movies. Tis the Law is going to be like Rocky. It's in, when Burgess Meredith tells him, you've been fighting a bunch of bums. Well, that's what's going to happen here. The, the, the Kentucky Derby this year is like, 
it's 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 kind of like ridiculous because the unknown quantity of the horse when you came into the first Saturday in May was the question: Can this horse make the distance and all this other stuff? Well, well, well. Now you're doing this four months later, and a lot more questions have been answered, and a multitude of top horses have broken down. So it's it's kind of like uh, who's left standing that can compete more so than what's the uncertainty of the horses. So his the law is going to be a, a big, big, overwhelming favorite, but I think he gets beat. So the Derby is this weekend. It's Saturday. Man, the Oaks are Friday, and the Derby is Saturday. And, and like I said. Um, you, you're not hearing anything about people being let in uh, since they said that they can't. And they're, they're letting it go for people to assume that's because of the virus, but it's not. It's because Louisville's on fire. All right. Now, what about uh, uh, what's the other race that's, uh, that's held in Maryland? Uh, the Preakness. Now, when's that going to be held? I think it's the first weekend in October. Yeah. <laughs> Because I think it coincides with Keeneland opening up. Oh, gosh, I tell you. Yeah, I mean, if anybody puts any <laughs> validity into a horse winning a Triple Crown this year, boy, <laughs> you could be sold anything. Well, that's be- yeah, you're right, because the main thing, the great thing about the Triple Crown, A, is they're all young horses, okay? They get stronger at, as the season goes on, but also the test is endurance uh, with the three races spaced out like they are. Uh, and it's a it's 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 just a totally different thing that you have this year. I mean, yeah, I mean, you had the Belmont first, yep, and it was shortened, so there, there's there's that doesn't hold any water, and then you have almost three months between the Belmont and the yeah. Kentucky Derby. I mean, come on, it's it's it means nothing. Yeah, the Triple Crown is 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 the stamina and strength of the horse. Uh, yeah, when in those three races with progressive distances over a five-week period, not a five-month period. Yeah, so it, t- it, does, it does take that away from it. it it's a, I mean, I guess we're, we're happy to see, uh, to yeah, see some sort of... Yeah, just enjoy the sports. race for yeah. what it is, but it's, it's, it's definitely not a triple crown year. All right, well, I guess that's about it for our sports this morning. Yeah, let's see if the Islanders can wrap it up tonight. Be nice if they did. Uh, I know, uh, just uh, send me a message if they do, because I'll be asleep. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you a message if the Rays win, too. I'm surprised. I, you know, I woke up this morning and I didn't see a message. So I said, well, either they got rained out, something happened, or the Yankees won. <laughs> well, I just, you know, I assumed the Rays would win, so I didn't bother you. But if they win again tonight, <laughs> yeah. that's five and a half looking at six. And, <sighs> you know, but, you know, the, the Yankee fans say, well, we'll make the playoffs. Everybody makes the playoffs. I spoke to a friend of mine last night. I think 16 teams make the playoffs. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's like football, huh? Yeah, I just know that when, uh, when I get a, 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 a text message from Mike about the Crankies, I know they lost. The Crankies. <laughs> All right, Mike, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Uh, Mike Cosby with a check on sports this morning uh, here on Robin Hood Radio, robinhoodradio.com on the web.